Oof. I hate Christmas themed shit. I really do. I hate the decorations. I hate having to buy shit for people. I hate having to go to the Christmas family get togethers and eat Karen's chicken and dumplings that taste like the smell of her house. And the music, the music can go fuck itself. I can't even turn on a damn radio station without hearing jingle cock, jingle cock, fucking all the way. Ah, what happened to just celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? Do we have to turn it into this big commercial thing where we suck the cock of the Walmart holiday? Day aisle. Merry Christmas, my ass. Nobody's ever merry during Christmas, trust me. All these relatives getting together under one roof to pretend they like each other for one day. Just direct deposit me some money and leave me the fuck alone, man. Shit. I only want three things in this world. Solitude, time, and porn, and you're not gonna buy me any of those. Although the Patreon's been paying for a lot of the porn. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, calm down. And with all that said, with my enormous hatred of Christmas, also comes my deep sympathy for the the Grinch. I am a Grinch sympathizer. The Grinch did nothing wrong. Grinch didn't really hate Christmas per se. He hated Christmas shit, which is what I hate. I hate Christmas shit. And as the title of the video suggests, today's self-destruction will be me suffering through the Grinch. The game was put on PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, PC, and Game Boy Color. It was developed by the same people who made Dead by Daylight, and it was published by Konami. We're gonna start with the handheld first because I like to pad my videos out. Not because Dollar Shave VPN Shadow Legends is sending me money to do so. I just like making long videos because I talk too damn much. Gameplay footage. Here we go. Here's the game. All of the Who's loved Christmas. Okay, I'm sorry to already be cracking jokes, but I can't even hear the word Who anymore without thinking of Skullface. <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute. What's up with this who? I mean, what's up with this <laughs> right here? I mean, look at her butt. She's got like a badonka donk. Check out this guy too. He's like, <laughs> the Game Boy game mostly follows the story of the actual game, but uh, oh, oh, I don't like that face. Seriously, he looks like he wants to put his bad banana in your greasy black peel. I don't like that. I must come. Ah, that's, that's worse. Can we just play the game now? So, what is this game like? Well, if Pac-Man had a stealth mechanic, this would be that. You just collect all the presents in the map and then try to stay away from the Who's in the process and try not to let them hug you. Yeah, they kill you with kindness. And I don't blame the Grinch for not liking being hugged. I don't like to be hugged neither. Except when I'm depressed. What's really funny is when they see you, they start chasing you and the game starts playing this music. Okay, it doesn't play that. It just plays the music sped up. But that would have been cool. Also, I love this little animation. It looks like Ratfink. And if that doesn't date me, I don't know what will. Your one and only weapon against the Who's is your own smelly breath that's so bad it knocks them on their ass. So basically, the Grinch is the one guy in the elevator that brushing his teeth is against his religion, and he demands that he talks directly to your face. Ha! <sighs> motherfucker. You play as Max in some of the later levels, and I'm telling you, the Max ones are hard. They were so hard, this is where I quit recording because this was just too difficult. Bad dog, you're a disgrace to your father and your mother is a bitch. You laughed, admit it. There was also a Grinch game on the Nintendo DS, which we're gonna look at so I can say I did all the Grinch games. Good grief, what GeoCities website did this MIDI come from? The Grinch in this game looks a little bit bootleg, don't you think? Wow, my recording of this turned out really shitty. Uh, just pretend that your internet is going at one megabit per second. As for me, I don't have to pretend. So this is a bit of a puzzle arcade style game too. You go around the map, pick up all the gifts. Did I just say pip up all the gifts? Pick up all the gifts and try not to get caught by the Who's. Sometimes when you get caught by a Who, you don't take damage. Instead, you play this little mini game and it's different depending on what who you get caught by and this you move the Grinch around with a touch screen to keep yourself from hitting the who's if you do it right you don't take any damage you escaped but unfortunately you're still playing this game I love how both this and the Game Boy game have to do with some sort of stealth element that said that's the only thing I love about this game the rest of it is shovelware garbage ah now it's time to move on to the main event the Grinch on PlayStation 1 this game was meant to build up hype for the Jim Carrey movie that was coming out at that time. One of those rare instances where the live action remake actually wasn't that bad. Though I think drowning in a pool of reindeer semen is still better than watching this shit. Our first cutscene shows the Grinch staring angrily at a low poly mountain. Oh, I got it. I have a great idea. This year, the Who's will pay.
First off, obviously that's not Jim Carrey. I don't know who that is. And Max is supposed to look like a real dog, but he looks like a mutant wearing the skin of a real dog. It's creepy. Yeah, that walk cycle. Don't worry, it gets better. That, in fact, is the misanthrope scheme. Build gadgets from blueprints. Halt the holiday theme. Okay, why is Space Ghost the narrator? Space Ghost, why are you narrating the grid? Shut up, little man. That doesn't answer my question. Then the Grinch starts naming all the weapons in the game, and I swear it sounds like a toy commercial. Yet one of my most treasured weapons, the rotten egg launcher to stink out my enemies, or the slime gun to just stick it to them. My marine mobile. No, no, no. I know. Yes, this. <laughs> That was not a recording error. The game actually does start chugging at five frames per second in spots, even on actual hardware. And so the game begins. And you know what? I noticed right up. What? Huh? Oh. The Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll okay, okay, I get it. Ground pound the crates. I guess I gotta take this opportunity to show you an Easter egg in the game. You can go back up and look through the telescope and make the Grinch say a couple of lines. I hate who? I hate Christmas! My heart is like a pea. What's he even staring at? It's just a bunch of white polygons. So anyway, we push this boulder out of the way. Oh. The strength of the Grinch is a legend in Whoville. Dude, There's I think I can figure this out. Or can I? You grab it forward and push it left and right? You would have thought you would go over to the other side and then push it forward or backward, but you don't do that in this game. I could have used that information instead of, yo, the Grinch is strong, bruh. So when you get down to the elevator- Press the action button to cause Grinchy effects. Space Ghost, I know how to pull a fucking lever. Ugh, pull the lever, crunk. So the object of the game is to pull pranks on the Who's, and you have a whole bunch of missions that you have to do in order to do that. But to do a lot of those missions, you need gadgets, and to get the gadgets, you need to get the blueprints. So it's a bit of a collect-a-thon game. In fact, this is Banjo Grinchui. How do y'all like that draw distance on the textures? This game is how you say heavily optimized. Just like in the Game Boy game, the Who's will try to run up to you and hug you, and it... Who grown-ups oh, and children sake. alike fear the grin. Yeah, wonderful, awesome space ghost. Now, can I play the game? Ground pounding is kind of weird because you had to press the X button repeatedly as fast as you can or else it ain't gonna work. If you're off by just one millisecond, it ain't gonna work. Now, these presents are kind of the collect-a-thon coins in the game. Damn it! The mission book the outlines- The fucking grief, it's not even funny anymore. Stop! The Grinch Shut up, 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 shut up! I don't know if I can do this video. I haven't even started the review proper and I'm already falling apart. Well, uh, anyway, I guess they put so many tutorials in the game because they figured like little kids were going to play this. Like kids are so stupid they can't find things out for themselves. I mean, damn. I mean, most of the stuff that Space Ghost is subscribing, subscribing? That's something you should do. Fuck. Most of the things that Space Ghost is describing could be described in one little text window. In fact, it is. They didn't even need him at all. I guess they just figured, well, since we paid him, we're going to milk him for all he's worth, get every bit of our money out of him. Anyway, the collect-a-thon coin of this game is the present, and you smash it by ground pounding it. And these yellow ones under the music boxes are the hardest fucking ones to do. Because not only is the Who's trying to hug you, but the music box plays Christmas music that's so gut-wrenchingly horrible that it physically harms the Grinch. Ouch! Ouch! Damn it. Ow! Get off! Damn! Ah, finally! These mosquitoes can fuck right off to hell. They don't even hurt you all that much, they're just annoying. Luckily, you're that guy in the elevator breath can kill them quickly. Hitting your head on the ceiling makes the Grinch cry in pain, but it doesn't actually do damage. So it's another damn thing that annoys you for no reason. I'm noticing that annoyance is a theme in this game. Look how pissed I get here. Ouch! Ouch! This is where your parents come in and say, Honey, turn the game down or we're taking it away. So anyway, I go around painting posters and smashing snowmen. Then I get a disguise and then I'm able to get into the post office. And this part is supposed to recreate the scene where the Grinch shuffles the mail in the movie. Cindy Lou is here. And what is the deal with Whoville and unattended children? Parents be like, if you see a stranger, you better follow him around. Worst parents ever. To get to the mail, you have to get past these security lights. And once you get past that, the doors are 
are locked, but you can use Max to go through the vents to unlock the doors for you. Luckily, the doors are color-coded, so that makes it a little easier to get through the vents. But I'm a filthy boomer, so I still get lost. Once you shuffle all the mail, you get this cutscene pulled from the movie that's as badly voice acted. That acting was more fake than a female orgasm. The game gets a little more fun because the Grinch gets a gun later. And no, not a gun gun, though I wish it was. Actually, I wonder if anybody's drawn that. The Grinch with a gun. Oh my god. I see the Grinch went to America and stole Christmas. <laughs> Bless you, Mr. Political Cartoonist Mike something. This is going to be my Twitter banner. What they call the gun in the game is a rotten egg launcher, and you use rotten eggs as fuel for it. Damn, I've got eggs of steel. What's bad is you aim it with the left analog stick, and it is really sensitive. Where the rotten egg part of the launcher comes in is you shoot eggs into people's windows. It's gonna smell like Santa's ew socks. No, it doesn't do that. It plays the first two notes, though, and that's what made me think of that. When I was a kid, this part used to piss me the fuck off. This part, you're supposed to be quiet and not get seen by the guards, but I swear the fucking guards have got x-ray vision. Sly Cooper, this ain't. Out of here! Ow! I do like the music in this level, though. Hell yeah, that's bopping, dude. Next thing, I'm in a forest using my stink breath to kill trees and then throwing beehives down houses. Coming down! Which sounds fun, and then... Wait a minute. Oh, I never told you kids about the poles. Ooh, the poles. Let me tell you about the fucking poles. The poles are the most horrible and broken gameplay mechanic in this game, and I have mastered it down to a science. So let me tell you about it. So here we go. You press X to jump, but then you press square to grab onto the pole. And then you hold square to swing on the pole. And then when you press X, you let go of the pole and jump over to the the other pole or so you would think what actually happens is you can jump off of the pole one of two ways one you go straight forward another way you go forward and up diagonally now how do you control this well let me slow it down for you and here this is the dividing area right here if you push x before this you will go forward if you push x after this spot you will go forward and up now that sounds all well and good, but there is lag on your inputs when you are swinging on these poles. So you have to kind of guess and factor in the lag in your inputs to figure out exactly where you need to push the X button at. And sometimes you can get it wrong. In some instances, you're just not going to land on the next pole. There's just too many odds against you. Now, why is this such a big fucking deal? The thing is, most of the places that have these poles if you fall off, you have to go right back to the poles again before you can even begin to get back where you were at. Like this mountain I'm on the side of. Once I get up top of there, there's other places up there where I need to platform. And there is a high chance that I could fall off after taking so long to work my way back up there. Especially in this little place right here. I got the ability to do a rocket jump so I could jump higher. So I was going to use that to get momentum to get over that cliff. But watch what happened. I fall right off. You know what I got to do now? I got to load a save state because I'm not doing the fucking polls again. But you know what? little young stew on his ps1 had to do back in the day do the fucking polls again and i did it because like i said a while back i like torturing myself next we go to a junkyard and man this music bops Man, rip out my innards and blow me like a trombone. You wouldn't have thought that the Grinch would have some good music in it. But there's one part of the song that bothers me. Listen to this bass riff really carefully. You got that in your head? Okay. Now here's Stranglehold by Ted Nugent. Man, 
I mention Ted Nugent a lot on this show, don't I? Hell, I gave him his own episode. I'm like Mr. Rogers with a machine gun. The main thing I remember about this junkyard map from playing it as a kid is these little electric fences right here that I couldn't get past. I ended up shutting the game off right here when I was a kid, and I still couldn't figure out how to get past here. I ended up having to look up a walkthrough. You want to know how you get past these fences? Get ready for this. You see this platform right here with the little sign on it? Well, guess what? You're supposed to ground pound this platform and then go through it. I didn't know that for 20 years. I don't know whether to be mad at myself or mad at the game, so I'm just going to be mad at the world. Fuck the world because of this game. So the next part I did... Oh, wait a minute, y'all. What? Somebody already did this game. Who? Who the fuck is Cat Icarus? Did he mention the poles? Did he mention Space Ghost? Then we're fine. I'm not throwing away 15 minutes of video just for that. Allow me to show you the hardest puzzle of the game. Trying to figure out how to move an object. Have you ever heard of a game that the controls change depending on where the camera is at? Well, this is one of those games. You can never tell what's left and what's right, what's up, what's down, what's back, what's forward. So the best thing you can do is try to center the camera directly behind you as accurately as possible so left and right is still left and right. If you don't do that, there's no telling where you're gonna move the damn thing. In fact, this puzzle was so frustrating, I didn't even bother finishing it. It's still not as bad as the poles, but it's a damn close second. Pull the lever, crunk. Oh, you are shitting me! Pull the lever, crunk! There, shit! Oh, what the hell? Now this one's stuck. Okay, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, now left. Now le no, not back. Left! Le you motherfucker, left! This was coated by monkeys. Okay, let me just the camera. There we go, left. Okay, now pull the lever, crunk. Ah! The last level is this lake area that is the only level that I think has a boss. He's in this big low poly house right here. Now, how do you get to the low poly house? Well, my friend, you have to assume the pole position. Ho, 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 ho. And the lake level has more poles than any of the levels. And when you get to this boss, you'll find out he can kill you pretty quick if you're not careful. Each one of his slingshot rocks does three damage and you only have nine. So three good shots and you're dead. What you're trying to do is steal his clothes from him. And once you steal his hat and his shirt, he starts running at you and running into the walls. The trick is he has to run into the wall that has the moose trophy. Once you steal all his clothes, you can get past the guarded bridge. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't mind me. I'm just your friendly neighborhood camp counselor, Mr. Gre uh, green. Ah, uh, low poly PlayStation 1 backgrounds, like staring into the abyss. Let's see how I'm gonna. Hey! I don't get it. I'm disguised, but he still kicked me? Wow, he's just an asshole. Mr. Green is going to bring this up in today's counselor meeting. Is he abusing you too, little Timmy? If you're in trouble, just blink twice. Also, I sent Max inside this house, and this happened. Hurry up, Max! Oh, um. Uh... Uh, I would make a joke here, but only my really loyal fans would know why this is funny. Oh, we've even got a skunk that falls in love with you. Oh, we are going full Looney Tune. There's this one platform you need to get to, but in order to get there, oh yeah, you gotta do this. But it's not enough that you have to do that. You have to do that plus a time limit! <laughs> Myself. This may be the worst set of poles so far. It looks easy. Look, it's just a straight line of poles, but no, you have to do it absolutely 100% perfect and you have to do it fast. So you're under pressure the whole time. That's just wonderful. Like this is game design people. Yes. How about a break from poles? How about we do some platforming? How about we jump on the presents to get to the other islands? Let's do that. Jumpy, jumpy, Super Mario. -y. Oh no. And I jump and I, oh. Yeah, da 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 ba da do. I'm bad, I'm dead. Yikes! And away! Oh my god, this game's about to give me an aneurysm! Wait, 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 wait! Save, 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 save! Okay, go, go, go! No! Oh, this crap is for the freaking birds, man! I can't. Oh, 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 oh! First try! Okay, guys, here's the part where I have to come clean with you. 
I didn't finish the game. At some point, a game just gets so bullshit and so difficult and so bleh that you either have to admit defeat or admit that it's not worth it. And I finally shut the game off not long after that. So I just looked up what the rest of it was. And here's the deal. You absolutely have to 100% the game. No and, if, or but about it. You have to 100% it to get the ending. Once you do, a new mission pops up where the Grinch has to get parts for his sleigh. I can't finish my sleigh. So close, but I need more pieces. You get all the parts and then you go for the sleigh ride. But before we do that, once you open all of the presents, you open up a bunch of bonus games that you can do. And guess what one of them is? My own personal hell. Poles, 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 and nothing but poles. This is considered a bonus, an extra, an Easter egg for working so hard in the game. But to me, I feel like I've been trolled. One more thing I want to point out before we see the last part of this game is I did I did try to fake 100%. I did try to put a bunch of cheat codes into the Grinch to see if I could see the last level. And well, this happened. Whoa, hello. Welcome to the pastel zone. This is like how the Grinch stole Vaporwave. I think I'm going to leave the corruptions to the professional. So here it is, the final level of the game, which unfortunately I'll probably never get to play. But honestly, it doesn't look fun. Apparently, you're supposed to grab all the presents that come out of Santa's sleigh, and you have to get every single one. You can't miss one. But after you've gotten every single present in the entire game, it's time to take Santa down. Out of my way, Betty. This is my Christmas. So you start shooting rotten eggs at him, and apparently you don't have a damn cursor or a reticle or anything to use as a guide to where you're shooting. You just shoot. And what is your reward for all this heartache and suffering? A long ass, very badly acted cutscene with the most out of key version of Dahu Dores you've ever heard. Merry Christmas, Ooze. I'm so sorry to have stolen Christmas. Please forgive me! We forgive you, Grinch. I know you were a good person. Come and sing with us! Welcome Christmas, Fahu Ramas. Christmas Day is in our grasp. As long as we have hands to clasp. Do you hear that Welcome ominous Christmas music in the background? That's how I feel right now. Christmas I feel like I'm watching a horror movie. And so ends this horrible pile of cr- Oh? You're a blast, good player. And for you, we have a little gift. Get ready for the ride of your life. Okay, apparently there's a hidden Grinch cart game. I wonder if this was a game that they couldn't complete in time, so they just threw what they had in this game at the end. Damn, I would have played Grinch cart. You know what else I would play? Anything else but this fucking game. My goodness, this game took years out of my life. So many Christmases I'll never get back. So I guess the Grinch really did steal Christmas. He stole a bunch of Christmases from me. I am out five Christmases. You know what else I'm out of? Time. Yes, the game is over. The show is over. That means I'm going to go to bed, go to sleep, and try to forget about the fact that my next episode is going to have games that are far worse than this one. Didn't expect me to pop out another one so quick, did you? Huh. Yeah, I worked my fucking butt off on this one. I hope y'all enjoy it. If y'all don't, at least then I'll know how not to do an episode. I want to try to be monthly again. I would love to be monthly. I just got to get off my butt and make these videos now, you know? I'm getting paid, so it's not like I don't have any incentive to do it, you know? The joke I put in the end there about finding out Cat Icarus did this already, that was real. I had done about 15 minutes of this video and realized, oh shit, Caddy made a video before I did like seven years before I did. Like he mentioned half of the same shit that I did and I felt like, well shit, people are gonna say I'm copying him. But oh well, I done recorded all the shit now. Might as well just bite the bullet. But that said, subscribe, Patreon, coffee, K-O-F-I. You know the drill. You know what to do. So do that. And then I will see y'all next month with another video. How about that? How about that? Not not eight months, not, not, not a year from now, but a month. We're gonna do it right this time. See y'all.